Hey guys, how are we doing? Um, been away for 10 days or so, but back now. Um, so uh, I want to get another review done for you um, as quickly as possible. So today what we're going to look at is these little kiddies from from Guru. They're the, um, the Method feeder clips. Now, I was sort of dabbling and, and messing on with feeders about eight to nine months ago um, on how I could achieve this effect from getting my hoop bit central um, to my method feeder every single time. Now, I had a few drones, um, I did a few drones and drilled out a few feeders and running the, the, the line through the back of the feeder and up through the, up through the middle and stuff, but I could never find a way um, which would achieve the same effect whilst maintaining sort of fish safety, if you like. Um, and then, lo and behold, along come these little bad boys which have sort of solved the problem, if you like. Uh, so these feeder clips, so you get two sizes to cover both of this, the method feeders and the Guru range, so you get the small and the large, um, and they're retailing at about three quid. I paid two ninety nine for these, the most I've seen on the internet is £3.10, um, so a couple of pence either side of three quid um, is what you want to be looking at paying for, paying for them. Um, you get three in a pack, um, so you get, obviously you get your, your, your large and your small feeders. Um, and to be honest, um, they, they look spot on. Now I've not actually um, put them on a feeder yet. I'm going to do it all live just to show, show you how hard or how easy it is to get them fitted. Um, but I've got no doubts to be honest that um, Guru would have probably thoroughly tested them and have got them spot on before they released them. So I've got no doubt they're going to be fairly straightforward as as is pretty much everything else in their in their range. So. Um, Let's have a look at them then. So, for this for this test, I'm just, for this like um, review, I'm just going to use the large feeders, uh, just for ease of being able to see them, if nothing else. Um, but yeah, this is the first time I've done them, so I'm just going to grab a couple out and do a couple of feeders. Now, one thing I was slightly concerned about um, with the feeder was, and we'll have a look at it in a second, just how much tension. The line is going to be in the clip, and whether or not there's a like a possibility of it not coming out when you're playing the fish. So, but we'll have a look. I'm, I'm sure that they've they've been thoroughly tested. Now it looks like there's there's like hooks on either side of the the clip itself to go around the the base plate, the bait plate of the feeder. So I've just hooked, I guess you've got to just hook one side on and then click it on, and that's it. Yeah, dead easy. Yeah, and actually looking at them. You can see on the actual side of the clip, the um, they've actually got the little Guru, the Guru logo printed on there, which you know it, it isn't obviously going to increase um, performance, but you know a nice little touch and attention to detail, if nothing else, you know, like like most things with them. So yeah, like I was just saying about the, the tension on the on the actual line itself. So I'm going to set this to about. Two inches, an inch and a half, I guess. Um, just pulling the line through the clip, and yeah, you can see how there's just just enough there for it to nip, get the fish hooked properly. Like it's like it is like a little boat rig, isn't it? I suppose, um, and then it's just gonna yeah, it's just gonna pop out straight away. So then it's never gonna bounce against the fish's mouth. And, and face for, for too long so that's spot on so so yeah first impressions yeah yeah spot on so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to um, make a couple of feeders up I'm going to do one with a pop up and I think I'm going to use one with a um, with a bottom bit with just like a seven it's like a seven and a half mil eight mil pellet um, so we'll just see how what they look like in the in the water um, I'm, I'm super excited about these. I've been wanting to get out with these for a bit, but because of work and stuff, I've not been able to. So we'll just see. I'm just gonna do two layers of pellets. Now these pellets are just um, just scratching pellets. They're gonna break down quite quickly, but that's deliberate, guys. It just so it does take quite a while to upload these videos onto onto uh, Facebook and YouTube and stuff. So I'm just trying to cut down the time that it takes to get stuff uploaded. Again, I've done the pellets of about, um, about, say, about an inch and a half, two inches. Pop them in. 
Right, cool. So, let's give them a bit of a squeeze. What I'm going to do then on this side, I'm going to put the um, I'm going to put the one with the little pop up, little band and pop up. And on this side here, I'm just going to put the bottom bit. I'm just going to jump down, zoom in, so you can get a better look. All right. So let's make sure I've got the right one. So that's your pop up, and that's your pellet. So yeah, you can see the pop-up's bang on central to the feeder. I've just got a little pointer. Uh, yeah, so that is literally the center of the feeder there where that little kebab sticks sat in, if you like. And that's sock on, bang on central. I'm just looking from it above, yeah. Perfectly in that little pile of it, spot on. And as for this, there's my little pellet there. Again, you know, perfectly in the centre of my pile of bait, which is exactly where I'm going to want it to be. I don't want it nowhere else. So that's absolutely spot on for me, to be honest. So yeah, really good. I can't wait to get out and use them. But um, for the money, you know, Especially where you've got a restriction of sort of six inches um, that you've got to adhere to, it's going to be spot on. You know, why wouldn't it? I can only see it increasing your catch rate when you're restricted to a, um, a hook length limit, i.e., six inches. I can't see it doing anything else because of where your bait is sitting amongst the other uh, feed particles and stuff like that. So, you know, for three quid, dead easy to use hassle free, they're going to last a while because they're built, you know, they're fairly solid, they're not like the flimsy rubber, I did actually think they were going to be like pliable but they're not, they're quite a solid plastic, um, so yeah, get on them, three quid, I don't think you can go far wrong to be honest, um, so yeah, that's it for me this week, um, I've got a few bits and bobs I'm going to do next week so I'll get something up for you then, uh, hope you get out soon and catch a few um, and I'll see you next time, cheers.